Hey guys, uh, Wave Function here, and I have been replacing my ice head setup for that I've used for like the past five years with Wii Chorus. And what I wanted to do was track my Wii Chorus in conjunction with my personal resource display. And this is how it works. As you can see, as I scroll in and out, these little arrows here on the side, all my uh, stuff is tracking right along with my. Uh, personal resources way. The way that that works is, we'll bring up Wii Course. Uh, it works with any element as far as I can tell. Uh, so it works with groups, dynamic groups, or even individual ores. And so what you'll do is click on whichever one you want to position. In this case I want to position this group. So I'll click on this group and then click on animation. And there are three sections in under animations that start main and finish. You will choose custom under main. Give it a duration of greater than zero. I'll just use one. It doesn't matter. Click slide. Choose custom function and then you'll paste in the function. And you will need to edit the function that I gave you. It will be uh, this first section here will be the name of the thing you want to manipulate. In this case I want to manipulate this group here which is named main HUD. As you can see it corresponds to this name right here. Uh, that's how it's that's how it's finding the thing to mani manipulate. So uh, if I wanted to manipulate this, I would uh, I would change it to right. If I wanted to uh, to manipulate a single aura that wasn't in a group or something, then I would change the text to say roll. Uh, and that's just how that works. And I think that is everything you need to know. This just handles positioning. As you can see, I've got some weird ores up here and stuff like that. That's because there's no personal resource display visible right now, so it doesn't have a position. So you'll need to handle that separately, the hide things, or give it a sane default, or whatever you want to do, but that's a separate thing altogether. But uh, as you can see, as soon as you, uh, as soon as it comes up, it'll, it'll show properly. As a bonus, uh, this is a, uh, I have a roll the bones weak roll that handles the reroll logic and if it's black that means you need to reroll if it's gone obviously you need to reroll um, but it'll turn some shade of, of color to indicate what level buffs you have so green will be uh, two buffs which means uh, that's the bare minimum that you want and then uh, it'll also turn yellow which probably isn't going to happen in this video if you have three buffs uh, and it'll turn red if you have all six which definitely isn't going to happen in this short video oh look at that <laughs> okay so as you can see i have all six buffs at the red buff anyway i uh, hope you guys found it helpful and uh have a nice day